before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's OAC. Hello everyone, welcome back to Community Wealth. Today I'm gonna to go over the bank card scores for December. These are the FICO 8 scores. I'm gonna go through several FICO scores. It's gonna be FICO 2, 3, and 8. But the FICO 2 and 3 didn't update for December, so I'm gonna go over from a year ago to last month. And the FICO 8, I'm gonna go from a year ago to this month. But before we get into that, if you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three of the bureaus, Equifax, TransUnion, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. You would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your vehicle, then you can click the Wealth Hire Car, and that way you can hire a car to then Wealth Dash by also signing up for Wealth Dash and still make $500 to $1,000 plus per week using the Hire Car on your own time. Want to know how I got five properties for five thousand five hundred dollars? Click the Be Free link in the description below. And you like shopping just like we all do? You can get cash back for your online shopping by clicking the Cash Back link in the description below. Now let's get into these bank card scores. We're gonna start out by going to last year for the FICO two bank card score. And for you guys that don't know, the bank card score is for is what they use to determine if they're going to issue you a credit card or not. They use the bank card score. That's for credit card issuers or banks to issue you credit cards. And also, I believe, uh, credit limit, I mean, credit lines and things like that, or lines of credit. So remember, a line of credit is not the same as a credit card. A line of credit is like a checking account on steroids, in a sense, or like a loan. Kind of like an installment loan mixed with a credit card. And I believe they give you a debit card for the credit line as well as checks. So just think of it as a loan used like a credit card, if that makes sense. All right. It's a loan used as a credit card. So you use the loan as needed like a credit card and you pay it back. But it's not a credit card. All right. It's called a line of credit. You can also get them off of your own, your home. It's called a home equity line of credit or a HELOC. And you know, so that's pretty what it is, but I would prefer to have an unsecured line of credit. But anyway, let me get into this. Okay, so here's the first bank card score. This is the FICO 2 from December 20th, 2020. You can see I was at a 649. That's a 649 December 2020. I believe I just got a 15, no, the 1500. I got extra 500 on my thousand dollar credit line at the time to my cash rewards card. And I was just added to the American Express card as an authorized user. And that was only $2,000 at the time. So that's what's going on with this. So the score went up. It was actually much lower than that for the FICO 2. That was a year ago. So let me go to the FICO 2 as of last month. Because remember, I told you it didn't update for December. So we're going to go to the FICO 2. Credit card, credit card score or bank card score as of last month. And by the way, as you can see right here, these are the Experian bank card scores. And as you can see, the bank card score here last month for the FICO 2 Experian bank card score is 675. 
So you said I was at a 649, now I'm at 675. And at this time, I believe the $5,000 credit line reported for Amex that I'm authorized to use on. It was 2000 it was 3000 I had a $200 credit limit increase with First Premier. So that took me to 900 And I keep my utilizations at 3%. And also, I pay all my bills on time and things like that, obviously. But I keep my utilization at 3%, 3 to 5 except for this month. This month going to be a little different because I had to get a credit line increase. So, you're going to see a little something different. Maybe even this this uh, period. It might even happen soon. I believe it reported already. So I got the uh, credit limit increase late last month on my Navy Federal Cash Rewards card. And it took me to 9000 So, I went from 3000 to 9000 So, I forgot about that too. I got, I got a credit limit increase a few months ago. I was talking about the FICO 2 score, so it's FICO 2 score here. I got a credit limit increase on my cash rewards card a few months ago, about six, seven months ago, to 3000 went from 1500 to 3000 And now, this month, I believe a 9000 reported already. So, I'm going to see what happened because I'm also at a high utilization rate on that card right now as well. So, but anyway, this is the last month FICO 2 score, so let me get into the FICO 3 score from last year. Now here's the FICO 3 score. Again, with these FICO 2 and FICO 3s, you barely, they're barely really going to get used. You might have some lenders to use them, like some Rinky D banks, maybe the uh, First Premiers and the Surge cards of the world, all those type of guys like that. You know, credit cards that's pretty much suck. Even though don't I, I, I push the First Premier card because that's a good way to get an unsecured card on your credit report, and trust me, they look at that. They really look at that now. You might think they don't, but they look at the fact that you have a secured card and an unsecured card. They look at the fact that you are an that you're an authorized user or actually have a personal credit card. They look at all of that. So the first premier, they'll give you a card. They give almost anybody a card. I mean, if you apply with a for something, they're going to give you a card. So they really want that processing fee. They call it a processing fee of ninety five dollars. They want that, and they charge you very little thing, but again it's a good card to have as a first unsecured card okay and get your credit uh your, your credit going with the unsecured okay so as you see here last year for the fico score three for the bank card with experience it's 597 and this was a year ago so let me get you up to date and see what's happening last month all right so you see the fico three here is 639 with the bank cards go to a 639 last month so that's a far cry from 597 i can't front but it's 639 remember you're not gonna really see these scores i believe the first for me i believe they use the fico 4 as a matter of fact i believe it's fico 4 that they use the first premiere that i saw but it's the fico 3 i'm at 639 as of last month but now we're going to get into the nitty-gritty we're going to get into the fico 8 scores this is the big one, y'all. This is the one that you really want to see. You want to see FICO 8 and FICO 9 score. Those are the ones that really matter for the bigger banks and the bigger credit unions. Like Navy Federal, you as you know, use FICO 9. I believe Penn Fed uses FICO 9. Um, I know, I think for sure that Capital One uses FICO 8. So the bigger banks use FICO 8 and FICO 9. They're more up to date. So we're going to go into the FICO 8 scores right about now. I see here, December 20th, 2020, my FICO 8 bank card score with Experian was 688. And that's where you want to be. Remember, I told you you want to be in the 680s. So I was at a 688 with my bank card score of FICO 8 last year. Again, as I stated, I got a credit limit increase of 500 bucks. So I was at 1500 by the end of August. I got added to Amex. That add another two thousand dollars to my credit report, but I was an authorized user, so it's not really my money. And a couple of other things happened last year. I can't really think right now. I can't really think. Oh yeah, I keep my utilization at three percent, so three to five percent. And of course, you know a lot of things happen. You know me paying things on time. Uh, my, at the time, I think I had, uh, I was still paying the student loans at the time and all that. So you know everything was working out. So it's moving up. Remember, I still had a, um, the 
auto loan on that, the the repossession. But I was working on that, and I think they pretty much uh, with the repossession, they took the information off, but it still shows that it repossession. So it's pretty much a repossession of zero. So anyway, so that's that. So now we're gonna go into last month's FICO score. All right, we'll go last month. Here we are. Here we are, November 4th, 2021. You see, I'm up to 690. So you might say, you only went up two points from a year ago. Not necessarily. A lot of things happen. And so your credit goes up and down throughout the year, up and down, up and down, up and down. And so I actually have dropped, but now I'm back up to 690. So I'm at 690 right now. So we're going to go into December. December's FICO A score. Let's see what happens. So here we are, December 2nd, 2021. My FICO score with Experian for this, uh, the FICO 8 model is 692. All right. Few things happen. Again, the 9,000 in post yet. All right. The 9,000 in post. Uh, they reported that on the 12th of this month. So this is the second. But I had the $5,000 increase. What a three thousand dollar increase to five thousand on the Amex card that I'm authorized to use on. I had to increase to twenty dollars on my first familiar, it could be at nine hundred, and I keep my utilization at three percent. And remember earlier this year I had a credit limit increase of fifteen hundred to put me at three thousand dollars, all right, for the cash rewards card. And as you know, if you've been paying attention to my channel and watching my videos, I actually had another credit limit increase a few weeks ago to nine thousand dollars on my cash rewards card. But that hasn't reported yet. Well, it, it reported, but it hasn't reported. It, it, it's not where I can get the report yet. That's going to update next month. Well, it might, and it might even update soon. So if I catch it, I'll do an update on all of my scores so you will see whether it went up or down. Because remember, I, I'm at a high utilization now, but I did get a credit limit increase of $6,000. So now I'm at $9,000 on that card. So I want to see how that affected or how, uh, how that impacted my credit score with the fact that I went up but then again my utilization went up as well so I want to see how that's going to affect it but again this is my FICO bank card score as of now I haven't it hasn't reported yet well it hasn't it reported but it hasn't shown yet that it has been reported about the nine thousand dollars but I can't wait to see how that happens and you know I let you guys know the good and or the bad which is good regardless because it's still a credit limit increase now the utilization is not so good but that could be handled as long as you have the utilization that can be fixed asap late payments it might take a little time all right but anyway hope you got a little information out this video hope it helped you in some kind of way hope it encouraged you hope it motivates you to move on and get your credit uh, together if you haven't or if you're working on it hope my videos motivate you to you know really get on it all right if you want to see what's on your reports, include your FICO score to click the credit monitoring link in the description below. And I'll update you once I know what's going on with my credit scores because of the $9,000 increase with the high utilization now. And thanks for watching. If you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, Click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to It's a Wasey. And until the next video, let's get this money.